Hi everyone, this is Andrew Time. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Time Splitters 2 4K port that's been locked inside the Homefront, the Revolution game for several years now, and it's just been brought to light as an Easter egg. And apparently the key combinations required to unlock the rest of the Time Splitters 2 game has been hidden away for several years, but it's just been reverse engineered by somebody called Lance McDonald. And also I've got in front of me this uh, tweet by Jordan Chase. He's compiled a set of instructions, which I'm just gonna go through with you now. So these two people are really responsible for figuring out the lost combination codes for all of these uh, unlocking the game. And I'm just gonna show you how to actually do this. So I'll leave a link to this tweet in the description. So all this does is uh, take us a link through the mega page. And this has a save game here, which is the attributes.xml, and then also the key combinations that we need to press here. So the attributes.xml, what we need to do is to download it and then put it inside the save games homefront2 folder in the profiles folder here. So I've got my profiles folder here and I've already moved my attributes.xml here. I've made a backup of my previous attributes.xml. So all this does is unlock the progress required to get to the Time Splitters 2 menu in the Extras menu. So I'll just show you that now. So when you actually open the game, when you go to the Extras menu, you normally just have the credit sequence, but because we've imported the save game, we can actually enter the Time Splitters 2 game here. So on the Time Splitters 2 menu, we have the two levels available here, and we can actually unlock the rest of them through a series of key combinations. So we have a very clear chart of how to unlock the story mode levels, the arcade levels, the challenge modes, and then these other ones here, which we I don't know what they do yet. So um, what I found a bit confusing was how to actually enter these codes. They're not actually entered simultaneously. This plus sign just means that there's a right click. If we hold right click and then Q, kind of like how you control C to copy or control V to paste. So you hold down the right click and then press Q and then let both of them go, and then you do it again, E, R, C, 2. So I'll just show you how that works. So I'm just going to um, do the PC one to unlock all the story mode levels. So I'm gonna right click and Q, right click and Q, E, right click holding two, left click holding one, left click holding G, right click holding R, right click holding R, left click holding T, right click holding X. So now that I've done that, I've unlocked all of these story mode levels. So it's the same with the arcade levels too. So I'm just gonna do that now. Left click and right click one. Left click and right click E. Left click and right click one. Left click and right click G. Left click one. Left click and right click one. Left click and right click E. Left click and right click R. Left click T. Right click X. So despite the fact that I actually quit out of the time splitters menu entirely, I've still managed to unlock the arcade mode. So I'm just going to play through some of the actual gameplay here, just see out how it goes. The darkness, they came with a hateful so I'm going to go through, so apparently not all of these levels work, but let's play one of the later levels here. Let's go down easy so I'm not very good at this game. So anyway, I'm just going to demonstrate some gameplay. Um, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I don't.
So I'm just going to try this level here, Notre Dame, 1895. So this is basically the third level that's not available to the normal sequence here.
Commander, you have...